And this is where I'm starting the loop that I'm going to be doing today. It's a lovely day. It's about 13, 14 degrees. I'm down in the southeast of England. I'm starting the, the Best of Essex uh, loop from Saffron Malden. And this is an ancient monument, the largest publicly owned turf cut maze in England. Let's crack on. Let's go into the centre of Saffron Malden, uh, get, a, get some scram and then we'll start this loop. Um, there's the castle there. You can't really see much of it, it's just been cordoned off and it's ready for the uh, coronation coming up in a few days time. But yeah, Saffron Walden is a beautiful market town if you ever come to this uh, part of the country. It's a nice place to start the loop. I'm going to find somewhere to we'll get a bite to eat, but some of these buildings, um, timber frame buildings you can see, just exquisite aren't they? Look at them, lovely. And uh, my first destination is, uh, I forget the name of the town, but it's one of the oldest medieval towns in England. Um, and this first section of the ride is going all the way to the east coast to Harwich, uh, sort of side of England. So there's some brilliant B roads uh, on this route. I've just come through Clare and uh, lo and behold, I've just come past a uh, motorad dealership called uh, Wright and Motorad. This place is just on the 1092. I'm going to stop at Lavenham uh, and that take a picture of the Crooked House. And I'll show you this little cafe which is just after uh, BMW Wright and Motorab, which is just on the right, further down here. Um, yeah, so just after that Motorad garage, Willow Tree Calf Farm Shop. So. A nice stop off there if you want to stop for refreshments. But yeah, the A1092, this road, this B road, or rather A road, is uh, is really nice. I'm really enjoying this route. There we go, historic Lavenham. A spectacular looking church. And as I say, as you come on this route, there's some lovely cottages and timber framed houses. Sometimes when you go on a nice route, you go through lots of little villages and they just become like, slow you down for making progress. But the buildings, I mean, look at them. That's just fantastic. All oh, those wooden timbers. And you can start to see some of the, they're a little bit crooked. That one there, I recognise this, it's up here on the high street, the Crooked House. That's the Swan, beautiful. Well, I think this is the Crooked House on the left. So I've got to stop here and get a photo somehow. That's the house there, look, the most crooked house, most photographed house. I recognise it from the pictures on the, uh, on the internet. Doesn't look that wonky from this angle, does it? But uh, make sure we're good to go. Um, but as you go past it, look at the angle. Market Lane leading to the Guild Hall. Oh, maybe I could go up there. But look at the angle on the edge of that house there, how it's leaning over the edge of the bottom. Amazing. And this, uh, this is Market Lane leading to the Guild Hall. So that's a, a historic building. So we'll go up there and have a look. Past the uh, tourists. Some more historic buildings and the town hall. 
Ah, there it is. Now that's the town hall. Now there's a car behind me. Just have to uh, poodle along. Uh, some nice little antique gift shops, etc. Look at that. Wow. Angel Hotel. We'll get moving on. Look at this building. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, it's a guild hall. Well, you can pay to go in, have a look round. A tea room there. A guild hall tea room. What a lovely little town. And this is England's most med oldest medieval town. It's just really enjoyable coming through these little towns and, and looking at some of the architecture. Um, it's amazing. I think this is just typically English, isn't it? It's, um, it just shows our culture and our heritage. Fantastic. Who's that? That's Freddie Mercury there. Look in the window. It's Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Look at that street. Is that the high street? I'm not sure. But... Uh, yeah, look at this. Amazing. Right, I think we're back on the route, so let's make progress again. These lovely B roads. So this will be another long stretch, and this, this is the bit that goes down towards the coast. So the sun's coming out, so that's fantastic. I've just come into another historic town called Hadley. So you see all these different coloured frontages and houses. I like it when they paint them all different colours. Hadley this place is called. King's Head. Probably another nice place to stop off if you wanted a refreshment. Uh, this is the first big estuary that goes out to the North Sea uh, and eventually I'm going to come to Frinton on Sea. So uh, there's loads of swans nesting down here, people stopping to feed them. Um, obviously property of the king, uh, who's going to be car carnated in a few days time. So um, will you be watching that or will you be going out for a bike ride? Because most people, well, I guess fit in a pole on the, on the, uh, in the media, it's about 56% people in favour of the uh, monarchy. Uh, will you be watching it on TV or will, be, or will you be putting a motorcycle helmet on and getting out on the road because 56% 56, 56 of people are going to be watching it on the telly. Uh, and obviously it's a, an extra bank holiday. What will you be doing? Let me know in the comments. Where did you go for a bike ride uh, when the king was coronated? Right, we should crack on and look at some of these uh, lovely houses here in Frinton on Sea, overlooking the sea and the windmills. And the sun's come out even more, the clouds have cleared. Some people paying some money to have these houses upgraded, whether they're flats or apartments, or that's a court there. Yeah, some nice houses overlooking the sea. Yeah, let's try and find the town centre. Fred's Calf there, be ideal, isn't it? There it is. Is that it? The local barrel? The, lo the lock and barrel, that's, that's it there. The lock and barrel. That's the one. Fish and chips there, but uh, I think I'm going to go back for a Greg's. There's the pier. Yeah, so goodbye sea, the North Sea.
Let's get back onto the route and the uh, A and B roads. Yeah, just stop for a little break, have a little snack. I've got a drink and food in the top box to walk around, stretch my legs. Uh, just freshens you up a little bit. Um, on to Sudbury next, and then back to Saffron Walden. If you enjoy the route, give a thumbs up, press the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and the bell notification button uh, if you're enjoying this little uh, video about the best of Essex. Really nice route, this one. Uh, you look on. Um Wikipedia, some of these towns, there you go back, obviously centuries and the history uh, from the uh, Norman conquest and the Vikings. Nice little town centre in Sudbury. See if we can finish off this nice loop on a nice B road. Beautiful. I'm back in Saffron Walden. I've just had a little bit of a bite to eat. I'm going to have a nice little ride back to Leicestershire via Kettering and Market Harbour. Underneath the town hall. That was the best of Essex. And it was quite good. Until next time, take care for now. Bye bye for now. Ride safe.